Problem 14. A three-phase slip ring induction motor is connected to a normal supply voltage when its rotor is connected in star. The EMF induced between the slip rings at standstill is 86.6 V dot and the resistance and standstill reactants per phase are 1.5 ohm and 2 ohm respectively. Calculate 1. The rotor per phase current and 2. The power factor at starting when the slip rings are a. Short-circuited b. Joined to a star-connected rheostatic resistance of 8.3 ohm per phase Let's solve a problem related to a three-phase slip ring induction motor. We know the induced EMF between the slip rings at standstill is 86.6 volts. The rotor resistance per phase is 1.5 ohms and the standstill reactance per phase is 2 ohms. First, we will find the rotor current when the slip rings are short-circuited. Using Ohm's law, we divide the induced EMF by the square root of the sum of the squares of resistance and reactance. This gives us a rotor current of approximately 34.64 amps. Next, we will determine the power factor at starting. When the slip rings are short-circuited, the power factor is 0.6, which means it's lagging. But, when the slip rings are connected to a star-connected rheostatic resistance of 8.3 ohms per phase, the power factor increases to approximately 0.976, also lagging. So, in summary, for this motor, the rotor current at start is 34.64 amps, and the power factor varies based on the connection of the slip rings.